I'm excited for this and you should be too. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the incredible things that SideFX is doing with their next release, Houdini 20.5. In the little teaser video that we got last week, we got to see quite a few new tools that are coming out for us as artists. And it is actually shocking to me how good SideFX is at not only keeping their software fresh, but really just seizing opportunities. Uh, just the last couple of weeks, we've seen Adobe and their uh, kind of fumbling really in the space, especially with AI tools and with their software. A lot of studios are hesitant to use their uh, packages now, such as Photoshop and After Effects. Uh, but here we have a company that is listening to their users and doing everything they can in their power to come out with production level tools that you can use today from uh, increase in crowd animation tools to uh, overhauling cops, which is something we've been asking for for a while, um, a whole new solver that's going to help us grab some nitty and gritty effects as well. Uh, I am actually really excited for this one and I cannot wait to start playing with some of these new tools that are coming out, specifically the MFM solver that we just saw. Some of the animation tools look really, really cool. We saw an RBD car follow path tool. That's going to be so great for uh, just chase animations. I was working on a chase animation not too long ago with a speeder bike, and I can just imagine what this is going to look like with that. We're also seeing them just directly go for some of the market space that Adobe currently owns. Uh, if those of you aren't familiar, Adobe bought Substance Painter several years back, and, and here we have Houdini or Side Effects going right for that with Copernicus. I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, Side effects pursuit of trying to be an all-in-one package. It sometimes is is a little worrisome because uh, if any VFX artist knows this, you don't want to only work in one VFX package because it may not be strong enough to do, let's say, an animation or strong enough to do compositing, for instance. But I think they're getting there. I think they're really getting to the point where I can say, hey, Maybe it's time to uh, not just be platform agnostic, but you could seriously specialize using Houdini. I, I still wouldn't composite in Houdini, but some of these other tools that are coming out are going to be hopefully good enough just to get the job done, where I don't have to go into substance and have to uh, create all my textures there. I could just do that here in Houdini. Now, with that said, they're going to be having a webinar um, and a series of webinars as they usually do on this. And I'm sure they're going to be doing an animated short and then a behind the scenes on how they did it uh, for Houdini 20.5. At least that's something to look forward to. Uh, I assume they're going to do that. But again, some of these tools that we're seeing that are coming out are just absolutely excited. Again, I'm excited for the MFM tool. I really am. And some of these uh, vellum tools that we saw, the stitching, uh, I just mind blown. And uh, we didn't really get anything out of that teaser. Uh, but it was uh, just really cool to watch. So uh, let me know what you guys think. What are you looking forward to the most uh, out of Houdini 20.5? Uh, is there something that you guys were actually looking forward to, though, that doesn't seem like we're getting? Um, to be honest with you, for me, I got a bunch of tools, or at least I'm seeing a bunch of tools here that I didn't even ask for and I'm excited for. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'll probably release a few more videos like this on the channel as we get closer to the release and then as I start using them. Uh, I'm currently still working on finishing out this RBD Material Fracture series that we've been doing on the channel. If you don't know what that is, check it out. I'm going to offer a link here in the description below. And until next time, always be creating.